If you order a Tesla now or any time in the future, apparently you will be given a test drive of full self-driving 12.3.1 or later when you go to pick up your car. This actually matters a lot. Let's take a look. Hey y'all, it's Dr. Know-It-All. Let's start with the announcement here. This is from Colin, who said, no lies detected a few hours back. Elon Musk, apparently at two o'clock in the morning because the guy never sleeps. I don't know how he functions. He never seems to sleep. But anyway, it's Elon Musk to everyone at Tesla. Going forward, it is mandatory in North America, that would be the United States and Canada, to install and activate full self-driving version 12.3.1 and take customers on a short test ride before handing the car over. Almost no one actually realized how well supervised FSD actually works. I know this will slow down the delivery process, but it is nonetheless a hard requirement. Thanks, Elon. So a hard requirement means there is no getting out of this, which means if you go pick up your car, maybe if it's me and I go pick up a new car, like if I bought a Cybertruck or something, well, actually the Cybertruck doesn't have full self-driving yet. It will eventually. By the way, I was right about that. There were a bunch of people who said it would get it on day one. And I was like, no, no, no. They're going to need a fleet. They're going to need to retrain the software, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, so haha, I pat myself on the shoulder for that one. But anyway, if you go to pick up a Model Y or a Model 3 or an S or something like that, you will be given a full self-driving demonstration drive. They will install it. They will make sure it's calibrated. They will actually go and test drive it around with you and make sure that it is functioning. That actually is a really, really big deal. And yes, that sounds like a nightmare for the workers, but it's actually a really big deal and I think very, very bullish. So I'm going to go on to my response up here. And what I responded was, this is a huge change on three fronts. Number one, it shows just how confident Elon and the team is about the quality of full self-driving because clearly that's what he talks about. Almost no one actually realizes how well FSD actually works. So basically this announcement is telling us that he is extremely confident that full self-driving 12.3.1 and obviously .4, .5, whatever in the future are going to be fantastic and a really good advertisement for Tesla. Number two, brilliant technique to get people to subscribe because of course you take it out, you drive it around with the person and you're like, wow, this works amazingly well. And so you're much more likely to spend the $200 a month or whatever to subscribe to full self-driving if you weren't planning on doing that already or potentially just buy it outright. Number three, I said, it's good to show the limitations and how full self-driving works before getting into one. In other words, it shows the user that this is not a panacea at this point, right? You don't just like press the button and then go in the back seat and go to sleep or something that you still do have to be aware. So the person who's doing the test drive or the demo drive can show best practices. And I actually think that's a good thing. I mean, honestly, just to drive an EV period requires not that much uh, adjustment, but it requires a little bit of adjustment. So it's probably a good idea that before somebody takes delivery of their Tesla, that they get a, a test drive anyway. So this is not such a bad idea in general, but it will certainly show off how full self-driving works, best practices, and the limitations and the fact that you still obviously need to be in charge. I don't know about you, but I love a great cup of coffee. The trouble is that it can be really tough to get the best coffee consistently. That's where today's sponsor, Cometeer, comes in. They have found a way to make the best cup of coffee I've ever had. Cometeer is the only coffee in the world that is flash frozen to lock in peak freshness, aroma, and flavor. Unlike when you buy beans or coffee from a coffee shop where beans have been sitting around getting stale, with Cometeer, your coffee comes right to your door, packed on dry ice, which is super cool, and stays at peak freshness in the freezer for up to three Three years. Cometeer also sources the highest quality beans from top specialty roasters around the world, producing incredibly unique coffees that are hard to get anywhere else. This produces an incredible cup of coffee that doesn't have a hint of bitterness. It's smooth and delicious with nutty, fruity, or chocolate notes depending on which roast you get. Simply pop the coffee out of the 100% fully recyclable aluminum capsule and pour hot water over it to make a perfect cup every time, no brewing equipment needed. Be sure to check out my link at cometeer.com slash knowitall and use knowitall at checkout to get 15 cups off your first subscription order. And now let's get back to it. And then I throw in a little suggestion here. I said, Elon, I suggest you give away one or two months free full self-driving for new buyers to further encourage the uptake. Now, metaphor down below actually reminded me that full self-driving, if you get a referral, I believe you get three months free or it might be two, but I think it's three free months of full self-driving subscription automatically with that. So if somebody's getting a referral, which you should anyway, if not mine, which is always in the description, you should get it from somebody because it gives you a bonus and it also gives the referrer a bonus as well. But if, for example, you bought one 
someone without a referral, it would be really, really nice for them to offer that as well. And then thinking about it further, I actually replied to myself, a point of sale instant discount on purchasing full self-driving might also be very cool. As in, add this to your order now and get $2,000 off the price. I believe it's 12,000 right now. So that would mean it would be like 10,000 or something along those lines. Or Tesla could use this as another you know, lever to pull to sell cars at some point. They could say, take delivery by May 31st and get $2,000 off full self-driving if you actually purchase it with the vehicle or something along those lines. So they could do this as an added bonus. So you're giving a test drive and then you're also saying, hey, if you get it you know, now in the next month or two, we'll actually throw in a discount on full self-driving. Since it's basically pure profit, You know, each incremental unit doesn't cost them much of anything extra. It's very much to Tesla's benefit that they sell more copies of this software. And then just to add to this thread, I saw Farzad responded to this a little while later with some interesting overlapping thoughts and some new ones. He said, super interesting move. My thoughts ensures the delivery process includes software that has full self-driving pre-installed. I believe this is not the case today. I'm not positive about that. Maybe I, because I've purchased full self-driving with the vehicle before, I don't know. Maybe they pre-installed it because I had purchased it. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. But he could be right about the fact that if you don't pre-purchase it, you might have to download that software later on. I'm not sure about that, whether that's true or not, because I think it's just a flag in the software that turns it on and off the functionality, but I could be wrong about that. Anyway, interesting thought about that. Also, he says, exposes customers that are likely new to Tesla and super new to autonomy to a mind-blowing feature set, and that is very true. So especially if it's your first Tesla, your first EV, your first Tesla, so you're going to get, you know, this is all a new experience anyway with getting an EV, and then if you throw on top of that autonomous driving, that starts to look really good to the consumer. So I think that's a very good point to be made. Next up, he says, becomes a super fast feedback loop for AI team to discover biggest pain points from customers that are new to the technology, which will dramatically help adoption in the long term. That is really interesting. I guess that the data would have to come from the salespeople who would then give information to Tesla AI, perhaps in aggregate. They would say in the last week, I delivered 150 cars or something like that. And in the test drives that I gave, I noticed that 33 people complained about something about full self driving or said that they didn't understand something and that would provide some information to Tesla's AI team. Next up, Farzad agrees with me right here. He says it signals that Elon feels confident enough in the software to put it out into the wild. So I was saying super bullish sign. Elon feels really, really good about full self-driving 12.3. And so he thinks that that's worthy of pushing onto customers and letting them know about that so they can discover it. So it's definitely a sign in both of our minds that Elon is very confident about this software. Next up again, Farzad agrees with me. He says Tesla will likely unlock additional dollars in profit from higher take rate. I totally agree. You test the thing out, you get butts in seats, you're going to go like, dang, I really, really need this. You know, this is something that I wasn't just a pie in the sky thing. And it's like, yeah, it might be good, might not be. It'll be something that's like, I really, really want this. And finally, Farzad says this sets the stage for a free trial for the rest of the fleet at some point in the near future. That is a really good point. I hadn't thought about that. But let's say that only 10% of vehicles currently have full self-driving. Tesla could just with a flip of a switch at any version of the software 12.3.1, 12.4, 12.5, whatever, they could say to everybody, hey, we're going to give you 60 days or 90 days of free full self-driving. That will drive a massive uptake if it's to the point where it's really, really good and people are super impressed by it. That is a really good point. And again, this is all incrementally pure profit for Tesla. They don't have to pay very much of anything for every additional vehicle that signs up, either subscription or purchasing. So this would actually be a genius move on Tesla's part to give it to the fleet for a period of time and let people test it out. And then, of course, Farzad concludes with 2024 is turning out to be a super exciting time for Tesla, not just their full self-driving, but also Optimus and probably just the beginning by the look of things. And I totally agree. Well, hello again. It's two hours later, John. And look what just happened. Farzad had suggested a free trial for everybody across the country, and I heartily agree. I thought that was a great idea. In fact, I had suggested that previously myself. And if you look up here, Tesla Mojo said the one month FSD beta trial should include any existing owners who have never experienced it. And Holmar said that will happen too. And then Elon responded to that by saying all US cars that are capable of full self-driving will be enabled for a one month trial this week. And then I replied, whoa, I need to redo tomorrow's video. So yeah, <laughs> so here I am not redoing it, just adding a small addendum. But anyway, what does this mean? This literally means that if you have purchased a Tesla at any point, I, I guess, 
since like 2018, 2019. If you have a car that's less than five years old, for sure, unless it's a Cybertruck, of course, which is not able to do full self-driving at this point, you should get a one month free trial offer or something along those lines that will happen within the next couple of days, including potentially tomorrow. So number one, that means that the 12.3.1 rollout should probably be happening like immediately. I still haven't seen it. I'll check my phone while I'm talking here, but I don't think I've seen it at this point. Yes, indeed, I do not see an update to 12.3.1, but it sounds like it's going to roll out to everybody, or at least 12.3 is going to roll out to everybody, and it's going to be enabled this week. This shows an incredible amount of confidence about this software, and I think that Elon and company, Tesla itself, have decided that it is time to really bring out the big guns and to show everybody just how damn impressive this software is. So anyway, I will return you back to the end of the video, but I wanted to insert this quick since it just happened. So in the end, this is all a really fascinating development from Elon Musk and from Tesla. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'd be very curious to find out your take on this and whether you think this is as bullish as Farzad and I do. And while you're down there, please do like the video so other people can find it. And of course, consider subscribing for more of this kind of content. And finally, a big thanks once again to Cometeer for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to check out my link in the description to get 15 free cups on your subscription order. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Thank you.